Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 once again. This time, we're going to be doing an exhibition of the truck series at Talladega. I want to show you what the new uh, plate track experience is like, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll pick a car. I think we're going to go with the uh, the 51 of... Oh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to, I'm going to pick somebody here. All right, we're going to be Harrison Burton in the 18 Toyota. Let's go ahead and accept that. And we are going to Talladega. Yes, we are. That'll work right there. Look at our race settings here. We've got for Talladega expert setting, manual low uh, off on that. Difficulties on custom 105. I'm actually going to bump them down to 104 so they don't absolutely destroy us uh, in the beginning because they will. They will. Full damage, 13%. Um, I'm just going to go down to two times normal wear on this. I don't want to go too crazy for that. Player tire, I'm just going to keep it on normal. Uh, fall off on uh, do normal on that um, flags are good 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 and uh, I'm happy with that driving uh, AI skills are set to wide uh, their stability is at less stable um, so I'm gonna do that and recovery skill will be less skill because we're gonna be at a play track I want if we make a mistake they should go around starting spreads on normal um, you can have them expanded or compressed I'm gonna do compressed because it is going to be um, it's going to be a, uh, a play track race. Mechanical failures on normal. Tire of wear effects on more effect. I'm going to put them on normal as well. Faster fuel consumption. I'm going to put it on normal. Uh, impact forces on uh, high, which is uh, recovering from AI. Interactions more difficult uh, because we are at a play track. Draft partners enabled. I want those. You can always shut them off and uh, we'll be good to go there. Let's back out of there. Save those changes. And we'll make sure that the race length is at 25%. Back, save it out. All right, we are uh, done with winding the truck up. We're coming down here. We're going to hug it down on the yellow line. We got two laps to try to get something done here. All right, coming to the line. Let's see where we ended up. I feel pretty good about this. This is a pretty good run for us. Right, 51.680. 16th. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll be starting uh, right there in the in the middle of it all. We'll see what happens here. We've got the pole. That will be Joe Nemechek. Look at that. All right. It is time to go racing here at Talladega in the trucks. Corbin Forrester, not as fast. As expected, Brett Moffitt there uh, struggling all weekend, and Jennifer Jo Cobb improved body modification during qualifying. She will start at the rear of the field, and we are getting ready to go racing here. Safe flight repair, safe Green flight replace. Flag Ready. Green, Green flag, flag in the air at Talladega. Let's be nice and patient. A lot of racing to go in the beginning of this, and we don't want to do anything too stupid here. Heard everybody switching to fourth gear, so I will as well. And we have some help already. Let's stay go low, ahead and get our low. leaderboard out here so you can see who's around us and what's going on. Getting in line with the greenfield. Things are already starting to get a little racy. Got and we are one two by now. two all the way around here. Got one up top. A little bit of a check up there. I'm going to go a little easy, but uh, greenfield made a mistake there. <laughs> And I was able to, to, to capitalize on it, that's for certain. Still there. Ooh, yeah, he is. Still there. And now uh, when you're plate racing like this, you have to breathe that throttle so you don't run over the Stay driver the in front of you. That is just pretty normal. Wow, a huge move by Gilliland. A drop down to push. And you're just seeing how Stay crazy low, it is in the beginning part Stay of this around, race. Man. And we're not touching Boyd. We're just right there on his bumper and haven't hit him yet. We're going to give him a bump here on the back stretch right there. There it is. You see he gets a little squirrely. There's nothing Careful. too crazy. We do have help from the 12 behind us. He is our drafting partner right now as it stands. There we go. And you can see him pushing me. And when you have a drafting partner, it's wonderful because they will uh, they'll help you out. They'll follow where they you go. However, you might want to turn that off on uh, other tracks where you don't need a drafting partner. Stay low. 
but it's always an option for you. Pushing Boyd pretty hard there on a jump out of the gas a little bit. Don't want to wreck him getting into the turn one. You can spin these guys pretty easy. I'm working with him. A little bit more contact. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I think I moved him out of the groove. He almost lost control there. I'm going to get away from him. Try to move back up, and we're going to get the draft from Gilliland here. Did not mean to move the 20 that much, but I did. And now we're working on Johnny Sauter in the 13. Everybody single file up here in the front. And now we just have to bide our time and take it easy. And they're already getting crazy. I can now see the difference between these fast trucks up here and the guys that were behind us. Well, he's making some moves now, but we're going to stick with the... Uh, we're going to stick with Sauter. Wow, almost lost control there a little bit. Trying to maintain this. Clear high, bud. Oh, hello. Now, the reason why I didn't go 105 on this is because 105, man, they would absolutely destroy you on the start. He's giving a shot there to the 13, and he's now our drafting partner, so he knows we're, we're helping him out. So we're going to stick with him. He wants to run the top. That's what we're going to do. I think we're going to have to bail on that because here comes the four. And company, right we're now. trying to keep that draft going. We're going to side draft off the left side here of the four. He's Real right bad. there. Maintaining the draft with Johnny Sauter. That a and that will going. finish P5 for stage one. All right. Nobody pitting, as they shouldn't be anyway. And we are not going to pit either. Just making sure nobody else is. Uh, nope. Let's do that. Do not pit. Advance. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get it done here. Coming it's hard to, to pass Robert. those guys in the front. Ready. Green flag in the air back at Talladega. We're going to be pushing on Sauter here. As you can see right there, he got Careful. a little squirrely, but he's trying to get on the middle lane there with Infinger. And sometimes, you know, just because they're drafting partners doesn't mean you need to stick with them. We saw Sauter want to run the top, and nobody else outside, did. Outside. And we look, we're almost losing positions. We're going to fall pretty far back because of that. Careful, still there. And now we're running the middle here. Careful, still there. And I'm just watching who's behind me and what they're doing. We are mirror driving outside. the 52. And he gave us a bump there. That's going to shove us up forward. Here on the inside of Ben Rhodes, right on the back bumper of Johnny Sauter. Careful, still there. Yep, we're going to push with Sauter for a little bit here. He got a nice run there. Careful, still there. And look at him going way out there. He doesn't want to get too far ahead because if he gets too far ahead, we're going to draft to him and be able to You're blow right by him. And he is trying to utilize both lanes here. We have some help on the bottom. Not sure if they're going to go with me yet. Doesn't look like it. We do have help from somebody back there. Got a little bit of a run on Johnny Sauter here. Just not enough to get it done. I'm going to get behind him here, and then we've got Joni Machek on the bottom. I'm going to use that to our advantage. He does want to run with us. He's our drafting partner. Here comes the bump. Oh, man. Oh, he's, he's, he's thinking about turning us instead of bumping us. That's not good. That's not good. Wow, it's really crazy right there. Battling here to the front. He's still sticking with us. He gives another shot right there. We're going to get to the bottom. Haley Deegan on the inside. Greenfield moves up. Side drafting the best I can. Trying to get the Deegan there to side draft her. I couldn't do it. But we do have help from the 87 of Joe Nemechek still happening. Inside, inside. He was a sh another right. shove there. Ross Chastain wants a piece of the action. Hold your line. Got one outside. He's trying on the outside, but I'm trying to use every bit of draft I can. Greenfield's going to drop back down to the bottom of the track. Looks like he doesn't right. want to run with Deegan, right. and I might be able to get by Deegan if I just stay right here with Greenfield. Ross Chastain now pushing us in the 45 truck. We're able to clear Still Deegan. Left. Almost. Haven't been given that call yet, but we're right there. Got one down low now. We might have been cl almost clear, but not quite enough. Careful. 
still there. Oh, she's still there. And Greenfield wants to drop down. I'm just trying to side draft Deegan right now. It's not working still out there. for us. Got one peeking inside. Here we go. Come on. We need some help. Push us 45. Ross Chastain pushing and pushing, but now you've got Go girl power on the inside lane. You've got Deegan, and they got help from Natalie Decker pushing there. I'm trying to stick Careful. with the 45, and he's trying to stick with me, but I can't do it anymore. i got to drop down and get in line with Decker. Greenfield trying to make some moves, making sure that uh, he's utilizing both lanes of the traffic. And uh, we're going to try this again, and we're going to get fourth. That'll at the stage. Done, done. I didn't want to wreck it out. <laughs> I didn't want to wreck it out. If I would have pushed too hard on Decker, we probably would have wrecked out. Everybody's going to pit here, and we are going to as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready to get going again. We're P19. Bad stop for us. Bad stop for us. We have a lot of work to we're do, but we're going to go for it here. Be ready. I think I just, uh, out of habit, just accepted it. I didn't even look and see. Can't uh, pass them before the line. Uh, that probably would have been a penalty in real life. I don't think that uh, we get a penalty there. for that in this game. Car high. Careful there. All right, we've got help. Push, push, push. Oh, man, I forgot. I had to shift there. Stay out the bottom. All right, we've got help. And here's Sauter. Careful. I'm going to stick Still with there. him. Grant Enfinger in the middle. Man, it's, we got a lot of traffic here. I'm going to push on uh, Johnny Sauter and try to get him going. There. Car there on the outside. Drafting port partners of 46. Things are getting a little crazy now as we're trying to finish everything here at Talladega. Outside lane checks up. I'm going to go to the inside. Ooh, I don't think that would have been good. Probably would have gotten in trouble for that. Stay out the bottom. I think I might have been down below the yellow, but not sure. Getting a little loose there. Things are getting... A little crazy right room. now. You're clear there. You got room. And you're, you're seeing there. that we have them on the lowest probability of them, you know, or like how easy it is to spin them. But we're not just like ping ponging off and we're not wrecking them or ourselves doing it. Careful. It's, you can there. lean on these guys. There's a shot to Snyder trying to get him going forward. That was a big run we had. Still there. We're doing everything we can to try to get to the front. Got to give Snyder another shot right here. There he goes. Stay low, stay low. Just hang on to it, buddy. I'm going to let off there. I think he just couldn't drive it. Almost lost it there. And now we're getting that draft with Decker. And we still have the help here. from the 46 pushing us like crazy right now. All the way to Decker. There's the shot to Decker. Trying to get them Careful. moving. Still there. Ten there laps go. to go. Decker almost. We're getting really, really crazy here. I'm dropping it down. Still there. Got to the inside. Got of room, there. She almost lost it there. And now Haley Deegan. Don't want to wreck Deegan. Just wanted to give a shot there. Trying to get this Still bottom there. lane moving forward. And we got the 12 on the outside. Careful. Another shot to Still Deegan. There. Keeping oh, the trucks moving forward on the bottom lane. And we got to set her up just right at the end of this race. I think we're good to just kind of ride here for a second. Unless we get a, a huge run on Deegan, which I don't think is going to happen. Not yet, at least. And we got to watch behind us and make sure that we have nobody trying like this. All right, we had somebody decide to do it. <laughs> and Deegan was like, nope. She's trying to block both lanes of traffic right now. Still pushing. Almost the back of D. Almost. I'm not trying not to wreck her. I'm trying to mirror drive at the same time. And we do have help from the 46. Here's another shot to Deegan. I'm just going to go nice and easy on that one. Don't want to get the truck completely upset. She just barely touched it on that one. And now she wants to run the, the high line here at Talladega. And there's not enough trucks at the bottom, it looks like. They're trying to get it together, but not quite. Oh, hoo -hoo. almost wrecked her. Careful. Still there. I'm just going to drop to the bottom. Screw it. We've got help. Here it comes. Still there. Come on, 15. And the caution flies. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Who was involved there? It looks like it might have been. It uh, was Clay Greenfield there. We'll find out in the. Uh, we'll find out in the replay what happened with that. 
But now it all comes down to this. Outside lane, P2. We need the top lane to do something here. Going green for the final time. Talladega, maybe. Green flag in the air. Let's get a nice restart here. Deegan, we are side by side. Trying to finish it out here at Talladega. I got a huge jump. You got room. You're clear. We're clear. We dropped down. We had so much help. I think it was Alfredo or Lassard. I couldn't tell who did that. But they gave us a huge shot on that restart, and we're able to stay out front. Now we just have to utilize both lanes and try to keep them off us to try to win this race. Don't want to get too far out. I'm going to let out just a little bit there because they were going to get a huge run on me from that push I got from Deegan there. And now looks at the outside lines trying to get something formed that's not happening yet. Deegan trying to make a move on the bottom. And a block. All right, you're clear there. And now we've got some uh, got some more people coming on this. Uh, have to go to the top. Have to go back to the bottom. We've got to block all we can here to try to win at Talladega. Got a huge run on the top. Got to use both. Get a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Mir driving, and now look at this. We got somebody else in the mix driving through the center. I'm going to stick to right here. I don't think the top lane has anything right now. It doesn't look like it, at least. I'm just trying to use both. Push from the middle lane and from the bottom lane. There's the top. They're going to try to make a move. I couldn't do it in time. I couldn't do it in time. Come on, Deacon. Push, push, push. And Benjamin had a huge run there, and he has help. Benjamin trying to... And Ingram nearly cleared himself on my nose. He's not able to get it done. And now we set our signs on Benjamin. We got to set him up just right for this final bit of the race. Everybody getting pushed back there. Still there. And Benjamin trying to uh, prevent anybody from getting a run on him. I've got a little bit of one right here. He's leaving that door open. We're going to take it. Come on, Decker. Push, push, push. Here comes a shot from Natalie Decker right there. And the yellow flag flies once again. Not sure what happened there. I don't see anybody... It looks like it's a. Uh, it looks like it's one of them scripted ones. Unfortunately, Whew. we're in NASCAR overtime. Now it's gonna get crazy, folks. Let's do it. Let's finish it here at Talladega. Ready. Green flag in the air. Once again, we've got to be perfect on our shifts. Two to go. And try not to get too far out. Wait for the 19. If she gets a run, we're going to take it. Man, we got two. I'm going to drop back a little bit. Don't want them to get a huge run on us. Looks like it might be Kyle Benjamin with the biggest run, and he's going to be right to our back bumper. Something trying to happen on the top lane. Not sure if they're going to be able to do it yet. We'll keep an eye on them. Still mirror driving right now. If that top lane starts moving forward, we're going to have to try to stop that from happening. It looks like everybody's on the bottom. Here comes some help. They're getting on the outside lane. Here it comes right there. White flag in the air, Talladega. We're trying to finish it out here without any more cautions and look at that looks like Benjamin was in the middle and dropping like a rock we got to jump out of the gas there don't want to get too far back block in there both lanes watch the top watch the top watch the top utilizing all the track right now blocking the best I can on the final lap trying to win here at Talladega
I did not want them to get a huge run on me. I'm blocking all the way down. Watch the 19. She's Are trying there something the there at the end as well. Oh, I think we'll be able to hold them off here, and we're going to win at Talladega. Fantastic Woo! job there. Great win. Wow, man. <laughs> oh, we're going to burn out. You know we're going to burn out. Jeez Louise. That was absolutely incredible. That was so much fun. I do a cool burn out here. Let's put the reverse here. We'll do one going back the other way. There we go. Got that sideways burnout happening. I am happy about that one. Absolutely happy about that one. That was cool. That was really cool, man. All right. Let's see what we do here. <laughs> All right. We're going to burn it down there as we have won at Talladega. And what a finish that was. We're going to watch the final laps of this race in the replay mode. Wow, we had a speed rating of 104. Man, that was a fun race, man. That was a lot of fun. Here uh, we are celebrating in the background. Got the Tundra there. Everybody's happy about the win, of course, as we should be. We'll see everybody ended up here. And the fastest lap of the 49.714. Maybe we should have been at 105. I don't think it would have mattered too much. I don't think it would have mattered too much because you, no matter what, you had to block those lanes and you saw how fast they were coming there, like a, like a speeding bullet. Um, hold on a minute. Go back. I want to see the results here. So here's where everybody ended up. If you're wondering, I'll just go down for those of you that want to see. Stage winners and everybody else. You can just see how different it is. So Kristen, Christian down there is negative six laps. So whenever you see a truck uh, or car or whatever, parks on pit road that's a dnf i i did ask 704 games dnfs are in the game only for ai not for you you can't dnf but they can so when you see them on pit road or 
they're down X amount of laps, it's because they're parked because they were in a crash and they couldn't fix the truck and go back out. So that is indeed in this game. We'll hit continue there and we will finish the event. Wow. All right, so I'm sure everyone wanted to see some super speedway racing in NASCAR Heat 4. This definitely showed that off. It's a lot of fun. The new physics and uh, you're able to really whip this thing around. Um, and you just saw how different it was when we were bumping people and, and getting people going. And even with them being on the most uh, finicky of the settings, we didn't turn anybody too in too hard because uh, we didn't try to. You know, if, if I would have gotten into somebody, I could have easily spun them. You saw how out of shape they got sometimes when we were doing bump drafting. So very cool to see. No more sparks coming out of the back of the, car, of the, the, the vehicles. That was awesome. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode of NASCAR Heat 4. I will see you next time. Take care.